And we're back live from Bonaire. The two girls with us, we've got current world champion, Sarah Keita Offringer, and one of the title contenders for this year, Ariane Alkis. Um, once again, we've got Max here, so we'll just start firing questions at them and find out about what you've been up to and what moves you've been learning and that sort of thing. So, um, Sarah, if we start with you, you went travelling a bit this winter, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I still had to round of my last year, my last bachelor's year, and yeah. I didn't have as many courses, so I had quite some time off actually. So in November I went to Brazil for two weeks to Jericoacoara, then I came back, and then I went straight to Cape Town for five weeks to practice. I mean, I was going to practice wave sailing, I did, but I ended up freestyling a lot as well. Um, and then I spent some time in Holland again, ten weeks, and passed my bachelor's, and now I've Woo. been yeah. Well done. <laughs> and now I've been home here for seven weeks in Aruba sailing a lot, so. Yeah, I've had cool. quite some time on the water this winter. And you haven't had that much chance to go and travel lots of different places, have you? No, I, be I would sail every 10 weeks. I would go for one week or 10 days of sailing okay. and then just have the whole summer. So I would never really be very prepared for the competitions. But this year I feel yeah, more confident because I've, I've had more time on the water. And so. you've actually you've been able to sail in different conditions as well, haven't you? Also, so that's... Yeah. Like Brazil and Cape Town, you know, wind completely different directions, like opposite directions between two of them, but still with a few waves. Yeah, also. And when I saw you in Cape Town, mm -hmm. I was sailing around on my waveboard, and you, when it was, yeah, waves are a nice size, but you're still out of your freestyle gear. Yeah, the thing is with Cape Town, though, I, I brought a board that was slightly too small, so in, in the last few weeks, the wind kind of died, so yeah. that's why I went out on my freestyle board. But yeah, I, I just can't help, you know, I have fun on the freestyle board, so. And were you I learning, learning any of the sort of air moves? Were you doing some jumps on the way out now? Yeah, yeah, I got over my fear of jumping, so I was practicing, at least I think so. I did some salt forwards, I think, oh, cool. and I landed back loops. Push, the push loops weren't that great. They were like kamikaze push loops, but I'm, I'm gonna get there. <laughs> Are you gonna do any wave events this year? Yeah, I'm, I'm planning on doing all the wave events. Oh, cool. And slalom? So, um, slalom, I'm not sure yet, but freestyle and wave definitely. Awesome. Yes, and sir. Ariane, what about you? What have you been up to this winter? Um, well, I went back to Brazil yeah. uh, till January actually. For the first time, I was in January there, and then I was home for about a month or one half month, and then I came to Bonaire spend the month here and um, got some more time in Holland and Greece and then I came back here and it has been windy every day here. So a lot of time here so you're feeling pretty yeah. prepared? Yeah it's it's yeah. so good because um, it has yeah it has been windy every day since I'm here for the last three weeks only today it has been windy but um, yeah it's I feel pretty ready. Cool and we get this out of the way early on there's a rumor going around <laughs> about why you've got a black eye <laughs> something to do with Sarah punching you because she thinks you're getting too good and she's scared that you're going to kick her ass this year. Yeah, there's quite some rumours going yeah. on. It's either Sarah or Oda or Miley. Yeah. Sea turtles. Uh, sea turtles. Were you me. involved, Sarah? It was blue before I got here. <laughs> it wasn't me. It's, uh, it was quite an intense black eye, I think, for the past two weeks. But uh, it was just me fighting with my boom, okay. to be honest. That's not nearly as exciting no. as what I've heard. While, yeah. while sailing, though, fighting with your boom, sailing, yeah. trying to do something? Yeah, I did a regular duck, but um, yeah, I just punched myself. It was really windy, <laughs> no? That, you're not happy with your regular duck, then? You start... <laughs> it happened quite a lot of times, yeah. It's when I'm not, yeah, when I just, I think I'm a bit scarier, scared or something, I just don't really go for it. So I halfway, I'm like, oh, maybe I should give up, or maybe I shouldn't try, and then, bam, bam. And I went, it didn't even really hurt, so I went to continue sailing. But as I was sailing, I just felt it, like, whoosh, rolling up. <laughs> I mean, how long ago was it? Like, yeah, two, two more weeks. than two weeks. Because it looks pretty bad now. I can't imagine what it looked like <laughs> ten days ago. And I mean, you got it kind of covered up a bit. Yeah, moment, today well. I did, because it's black <laughs> here as well. Yeah. <laughs> so it's time for some makeup. Yeah. yeah. So on that note then, with, um, with the moves, what sort of what moves have you been sort of trying to get dialed in? Have you tried to make sure you were dialing in moves, especially for this event? Or mm, just trying to learn no, stuff in really. general? No, not really. Like, I always, I would like to do that but I always end up just trying moves that I really like to learn yeah so this is why I was practicing my regular ducks a lot <laughs> so yeah Konos I I really want to land Kulo I managed to get a few but definitely not consistent okay. um, but uh, yeah it's it's just really good fun and I don't think it's really good for competition because in Fuerta I have to do them on the way out but it's just yeah it's nice to learn so, so you haven't thought about possibly since you're in this Amazing location. Ah, uh, yeah, so of course. There's moves you want to try, way? and I think the last two weeks I've been mainly sailing in the competition area and yeah. like get moves more consistent and 
some variation and yeah I think I've trained I've trained for it but it's you know halfway training for a heat you just end up doing the moves you just want to learn I think yeah. and that's what makes keeps it fun mm. and do you find that you have sort of set moves in your head you know I mean I know depending on what the conditions are like I try and start off with the same move and try and make sure I get these certain ones in do you find that or you just kind yeah, of go with whatever I have feels a bit, right at the time? I always have something in my head but I a lot of times I end up doing something completely different because <laughs> it just yeah it just depends on the wind but I really like it to get my first two moves in straight away so yeah. do like solid moves maybe not like highest scoring moves yeah. but then I feel more confident for the rest of the heat so when I land my first move I feel yeah re more relaxed and trying a big move and crash okay so I think that's what I definitely go for just start with two bit easier moves and then yeah, it depends, and it even depends on the, against who you're sailing, I think. Like, oh, yeah. against Sarah, I would maybe try a cooler, while the chance really little, small that I landed, but against her, you have to go big. While against another girl, maybe you have to land more your moves that are good way, Good way of I looking at it. That, I can, yeah. yeah, I think, actually, I think that's right. I <laughs> normally kind of go a bit balls out if I... <laughs> If I don't think I've got that much chance of winning anyway, like yeah. if I'm against Gorita or you Steven well. in, in Fuerta, you might as well just go for it. Yeah. yeah. Fun. What about you, Sarah? Do you find that you, you've been training for specific moves that you want to get done in the heats, or have you just been kind of, say, like trying everything? And I think I've actually been training specific moves. I, I've been focusing on, on becoming more consistent because I, I could do the, the power moves for quite some time now, but not any time I want to. Yeah. And now in the past six weeks, I've you know, I've become consistent in landing burners, Irfano, Kono, Kulo. So I'm happy about that. But at the same time, I also thought it was important to yeah practice on both decks. Yeah. So I got like the Kono and Kulo down on, on my bad deck <laughs> and switch. <laughs> Switch dance. Oh I could I could do switch dance for a while, but I never practiced it a lot. So I was focusing more on getting it more consistent. And um, yeah, I always used to hear that I never used to go big and that it was very technical and everything. So I'm, I'm proud to say that I'm finally landing some forward loops yeah. and, and punches once in a while on flat water. So awesome. it's going okay. And with the river, is, is the wind sort of are the conditions fairly similar? I can remember when we went there before, the wind strength actually was. Kind of gusty. the same, actually. It was a bit more gusty, yeah, yeah. but it was kind of... A lot more gusty, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> but but actually, with, with, with the gust, though, like we've been talking about it today, you know, here, where the wind is so... It's constant, and so it's yeah. the same all the time. And you kind of miss... You're so used to normally, like, going for the gust and go, right, I'm in the gust now, I can accelerate and go for something big. Here, it's just the same all, all the time. But in Aruba, then we had those gusts, from what I remember. Yeah. So, have you, do you think here... Like the last couple of days, have you been able to land the same moves that you've been learning in Aruba? It's actually, it's actually exactly what you're saying. I'm, I'm also just waiting for the gust to come and go yeah. for that move full power, but it never comes. Yeah. So you actually just need to like bust out an extra two pumps to get that power, and then, and then you land the move. But it's yeah, it's way easier sailing here. You just need to get used to it after one or two days that you're not going to get that ex yeah. ex that extra gust. In Aruba, it is like that. It's a bit yeah, the wind is stronger. You really feel the power in your sail. But but what kit have you been using here the last few days? Here in Bonaire? Yeah. I've been on my uh, 4.8 and 5.2 on my 90 litre board. Always so using a 90 litre? Yeah, so always. Yeah. I'm actually th thinking to, to use a 101 when it gets really light on 5.2. Yeah. I think that would work better though. But yeah, I, it seems like the forecast is really good, so I might yeah. not even have to use that. And Ariane, what about you? What size sails have you been on? Um, well, it has been quite windy here, so even I've been on, I've been on a 4.0, but a mainly 4.8, 4.4. Yeah. You don't use bigger than 4.8? No, well, it's quite a powerful sail. Like, yeah. I think when most other girls are on 5.2, I'm on my 4.8. Yeah. And you're so using a 90 litre board as yeah, well? Yeah, 90 litre board. Always, yeah. Yeah. I think the 100 is a bit too big for me. Yeah. And then with the other girls that have entered, so we know you've got Oda. She's been sailing pretty good from what I've been seeing as well. Have you two been training together? Yeah, we went to Brazil together. We went here together, so we actually trained a lot. Yeah, she's improving a lot. She She's really technical and really good, and yeah, she. And then you've had she one. Really good. Have you been travelling with Miley as well? Yep. So Miley Shirel, who's kind of new to the tour this year, is she planning on doing the whole tour? Do you know? Um, yes, yeah, she's going to Fuerte, and she's also going to do waves oh, in cool. Tenerife. Awesome. Yeah, because she's been living out in Australia. Yeah. Waves, isn't she? Uh, who else? We got the sentence in the. Micah. You got some locals. Micah, the new uh, Dutch girl. I am Micah. Well, she was in Holland. Yeah. yeah. She improved so much this yeah. year. 
Yeah, she looks like she's sailing really good. Yeah, she's sailing really I she's remember really last tall, year. I think, in a few years. You know, she is already really <laughs> tall. Mm. Last year she was learning, well, in Fuerte she was learning Punetas, and now she can do Punetas on both sides already, like, and Flacas both sides. She's improving really fast. It's really wow. cool to see. And then from a local side, you've got Maxime. Maxime. She's been sailing pretty good from what I've seen. Very consistent with certain certain moves I've been seeing. Yeah, she does good. She, she busts out shakas and um, funnels, very consistent. Um, she's very motivated as well, so um, full speed grubbies and everything, so. Yeah, she's sailing really good as well. I think the level of girls is it's really high. It's yeah. definitely yeah. I was going to say, I like, think it's the highest level yeah. I've seen yeah. across, across like the whole so many girls. Yeah. Quite a few years. Yeah. yeah, there are not so many, but the level yeah. is, like, I think whoever you're against now is, like, yeah. it's yeah. not as obvious as it was sometimes, you know? That yeah, yeah. Is, before it was look. always you had, you know, like, well, like when Law was, was sailing, you was like Sarah and Law, and Yoli as well, and it was always quite a big difference there. You're always the same sort of top yeah. three. Yeah, it's good to see it a bit more spread, spread out and it's yeah. a bit more yeah. open. It's going to be really interesting to watch. Yeah, I think. I think so too. Yeah, good luck to you both. Yeah, <laughs> thank Thanks. you. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a fun few days, I think, looking at the forecast. Definitely. Um, but yeah, good luck and thanks again for chatting. I'm sure we'll get you back over for another chat during during the event. Anytime, can, anytime. Can we get a bit of your British accent first before you <laughs> go? Come on, are you going to save reckon. it? I reckon. I don't reckon. want to speak British right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, Brilliant. I'm not uh, you love doing it when the camera's <laughs> not on. I don't know, so I don't know why you can't do it now. Sure sure Max. No, no, I can't do it. <laughs> can't do it. Awesome. Shame. Okay, well, um, yeah, it looks like the wind hasn't really materialised here. Um, so at the, at the moment we're gonna we're still on announcements. So if you keep checking the live ticker on the PWA website, also keep checking at PWA World Tour Twitter feed as well for all the updates that you need. And um, anything that's going to be happening will be on there very shortly, probably. Um, if not, then we'll catch back up with you guys tomorrow. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs>